Do you mind if I ask a question? Yeah, I'd love it. Um, based on my experience talking to uh, Jehovah's Witnesses, I always hear that Jesus is not the Almighty God, mm -hmm. uh, that the, the Father is the Almighty. Right. He's the one true God. That's right. Jesus is a mighty God, but not the Almighty God. Yes. But what if I what if I showed you that Jesus is in the Old Testament speaking to Abraham? Okay, show. Sure. If you go to Genesis 17, it says Jehovah appeared to Abraham. Appeared like physically, visibly showed himself to Abraham, and then he says that I am God Almighty. Mm -hmm. El Shaddai, you're familiar with that uh, that term, El Shaddai, Almighty God in the Hebrew. Um, can we, can we go to the passage quickly? Yeah. Just so yeah. we're yeah, we're looking at it together. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Let me just pull it up. Do you want to pull it up as well? I would. Yes. I'm gonna hold on to the card. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. It's windy, eh? <laughs> um, so yeah, if you want to go to Genesis 17, I'm reading from the New King James. Are you reading from the New World Order? New, the New World Translation, but I have King James. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Well, whichever. Um, so Genesis 17, it says, When Abraham was 99 years old, Jehovah, or mm -hmm. the Lord, appeared to Abraham and said to him, I am Almighty God. Walk before me and be blameless, and I will make my covenant between me and you and, and will multiply you exceedingly. Then Abraham fell on his face and God talked with him saying, As for me, behold, my covenant is with you and you shall be a father of many nations. And then they go on to talk, you know, they have a conversation. It right. continues to Genesis 18. God appears to Abraham again in the next chapter. Right. Uh, so here, Jehovah appears to Abraham and says, I'm the almighty God, El Shaddai. Uh -huh. If we fast forward to... John chapter 8 so starting from verse 48 then the Jews answered and said to him do we not say rightly that you are a Samaritan and have a demon Jesus answered I do not have a demon but I honor my father and you dishonor me and I do not seek my own glory but there's one who seeks and judges most assuredly I say to you if anyone keeps my word he shall never see death verse 52 then the Jews said to him, Now we know that you have a demon. Mm -hmm. Abraham is dead and the prophets. And you say, If anyone keeps my word, he shall never see death. And then they asked Jesus this question. Are you greater than our father Abraham who is dead? And the prophets are dead? Who do you make yourself out to be? Verse 54, Jesus answered, If I honor myself, my honor is nothing. It is my father who honors me, of whom you say that he is your God verse 55 yet you have not known him but I know him and if I say I do not know him I shall be a liar like you but I do know him and keep his word now this is the verse that I want to highlight the next verse here verse 56 your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day and he saw it and was glad mm -hmm. did you catch that so what does your say Oh, well, that is, yes, it does. But don't you think it was because he was told that he would be the father of the promised seed? And so he could, he could see it, you know, the, the uh, future? I mean, don't you? That you, you, okay, so you think that this is saying that he saw Jesus? Yeah, so Jesus is having a conversation with the Pharisees. Right. And then, um, you know, they're holding on to Abraham and Moses and this and that. And he says, no, you know, you, you say you believe in God and, you know, but, he, you know, he's the one who sent me and it is the father who honors me of whom you say that he is your God. Yeah, you don't know him, Jesus says, but I know him. And then in verse 56, he says, your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day and he saw it and was glad. Then the next verse, verse 57, Then the Jews said to him, You are not yet 50 years old, and have you seen Abraham? Mm -hmm. And then verse 58, Jesus said to him, Most assuredly I say to you, before Abraham was, I am. Uh, which that's a whole different thing we, get, we can get into as well. The I am verse, I am who I am. But uh, do you find that interesting that he says to the Pharisees, 
Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it and was glad. When did Abraham see Jesus? It's like, well, he didn't see Jesus, but Abraham did meet someone in Genesis 17 and 18. Well, he said, he saw my day. Can I share a verse? Yes, yes, please, yes. It's in Hebrews. Okay. It says, in faith, all these died, although they did not, sorry, they did not receive the fulfillment of the promises, but they saw them from a distance and welcomed them and publicly declared that they were strangers and temporary residents in the land. Mm -hmm. So when it says that he, they saw them from a distance, mm -hmm. they knew of the promises. And that's what they were working for. They weren't working for earthly things. Right. So what is the promise in your understanding there? Like, well, what promise is that referring to? Um, well, it's talking about the promises of the future here. Let's, uh, let's look at the context and see. Okay. Um, it's talking about the city, the uh, yeah, heavenly exactly. Jerusalem. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So in Hebrews 11, uh, the promise, like later on, it says in verse 16 of Hebrews 11, it says, But now they desire a better, that is a heavenly country, like you mentioned, the new, the new city. Therefore God is not ashamed to be called their God, for He has prepared a city for them. So they all died not receiving that promise right. but but it says they look forward to a better right. a, 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 they desire a better that is a heavenly country right. so although they died and you know didn't make it to the promised land right. uh, that was temporary the the eternal you know promised land is right. the kingdom right mm -hmm. uh, so that's that uh, but um, I just want to leave you with this um, so if if Abraham and many other people Moses if, if these men in the, in the Old Testament saw Jehovah mm -hmm. in physical form and then a, and then Jesus later says well Abraham rejoiced to see my day and he saw it and was glad mm -hmm. the way I reconcile that I, I connect that and say well Abraham saw Jehovah and Jesus says Abraham saw me mm -hmm. and I say okay well Jesus is God now he's not the father He's not the same person. They're distinct persons. It's like a trinity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey everyone, we'll get back to the video in just a moment. As some of you know, I was recently in Texas. I was on vacation with my family as well as I did a bit of evangelism there. It was very warm in Texas every single day. Now coming back up north with fall here and winter around the corner, it's time for a cold winter clothes. All of my Theos Einho Logos hoodies and long sleeves and sweaters are now on sale for a limited time. If you want something thin, the long sleeve is for you. If you want something that can keep you really warm, the hoodie and the sweater is what you want to get. John 1 1 reads, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and Theos Einho Logos, God was the Word. Not only will these clothes keep you warm, but it's also a great tool to educate our JW friends, the victims of the Watchtower Society, who believe that the Word was a God. The link is in the description below. By getting your own, you're also supporting the work that I do. ClaytosApparel.com two, two things I want to ask you guys. Uh, do you guys believe that God can physically and visibly show himself to people? Because here's one example where he did, but what, what do you guys think? Okay, well, I think that the Bible has to harmonize. You agree that if we read a verse in one part of the Bible and then, and then something else seems to say something different, then there, it has to, there has to be an explanation. There has to be a harmony. Mm -hmm. And so what we believe in doing is to look at the Bible as a whole, of course, and I'm sure you do too. And uh, do you remember? <laughs> do you remember the passage where um, Moses asked God, "Let me see you. Let me see your face." Yeah. And uh, God said, "No man may see me and yet live." Yeah. And and yet there's another passage where God, it says that Jehovah God said, mm -hmm. told Miriam and Aaron. Uh, I talked to Moses face to face. Yeah. So yeah. How do you, how do you harmonize those? Yeah, two? that's a good point. Uh -huh. So I've thought about that as well. Um, so no one can see God and live. Uh huh. The way I understand that is no one can see God in His full glory. Yes. Because God is holy. Right. He's He's righteous and and we're not holy. 
and plus he's a whole different being mm -hmm. and we're just fragile flesh and blood mm -hmm. and yet he is a mighty spirit that created the galaxies and everything and so we can imagine the power yeah the dynamic energy is what it calls mm -hmm. it and we couldn't just like going up to we can't get even get close to the sun and that's a small star right yeah um yeah just going back to what i was saying uh i think because god is holy and we've all fallen short of the glory of god mm -hmm. uh we've all sinned the bible mm -hmm. says uh, if we saw God in His full glory, if we saw His face in right. that in that sense, right. we will die. No one can see yes. God and live. Right. However, in the Old Testament, it seems like not just it seems like, but it says, it, it says that yes. God appeared to yeah. Abraham and you know to Gideon to um, you know the list goes on. Like there's right. so many people He showed Himself to. Mm -hmm. uh, the verse that you brought up uh, while you were bringing it up. Uh, I pulled it up in Exodus 33. It says, So the Lord spoke to Moses face to face. So the Lord, Jehovah, spoke to Moses face to face as a man speaks to his friend. So they were talking face to face. But then, like you said, Moses says, uh, Can I see your glory? And God says, No, 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 no. You cannot see my face and live. So it's confusing. It's like, Hold on, what? They just <laughs> were talking face to face. But now he's saying, you can't see my face? So I think the way I reconcile that is God revealed himself in physical form. Uh -huh. Not that he's physical. Yeah. God is spirit, right? Right, right, right. But he showed himself in a visible physical form. That we can tolerate, yes. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. And then and then when Moses specifically said, can I, can I see your glory? Later on in that same chapter, uh -huh. glory. Right. God said, no, you cannot see my face and live. So I, I think the word glory and face are interchangeable in that sense. That's a good distinction. Yeah, so nobody can see God and live. Yes, amen. But Abraham saw Jehovah. God spoke to him. And then he said, I am the El Shaddai. I am the Almighty. And then fast forward to John 8. Jesus says, Abraham saw me. And then, and then they say to him, well, you're not even 50 years old, but you say that you met Abraham and Abraham met you. So that, that was their response. Uh, then the Jews said to him, "You are not yet fifty years old, and you have seen Abraham." Mm -hmm. It's like so. I, so my question is, um, yeah, what's your thoughts on that? Like, oh. well, you know, the Jesus—he wasn't Jesus in heaven. He, that was his earthly name, but he was created by God, <clears throat> the first of his creations. And so, and then he joined with God in creating everything else. And so he was definitely alive. He saw Abraham. He, he was following all the humans on earth, all from the time of Adam and Eve. And so he, he knew everything that was going on from heaven before. From heaven though. Yes, from heaven. But Jesus says that he met Abraham and Abraham met him here. Abraham wasn't yet in heaven. He says met? Yeah. Abraham rejoiced to see my day and he saw it. How can he see his day? And then they say to Jesus, well, um, you're not even 50 years old yet and you, you've seen Abraham and Abraham has seen you. So unless you say it was a vision from heaven or something like that. And then Christ claims to be Jehovah right there in verse 58 of John 8. He says, I am. I am is God's name. Moses. Exodus 3. Well. Moses at the burning bush. He says, what's your name? If I go back to the Israelites and they say, you know, uh, who sent you what's your name and then and then in the burning bush god says i am who i am has sent you and then jesus refers to himself as i am sorry i know i'm maybe i'm throwing no, too I've, much I've it's a lot I've, to I've, I've had this discussion before yeah. but um and i can see that you're very sincere i just our translation says most truly i say to you before abraham came into existence i have been Okay. It doesn't say that he came down and met him. He yeah. says, I, I, he did know Abraham. Right, right. And, and this is where you should go to the Greek, I would say. Yeah, okay. Like, hey, go well, it, but yeah, anyway, it was nice yeah, yeah, yeah. talking to you guys. Yeah.